Thank you very much for watching on LTV. We have the Dune HD TV 301AW here, which is the Wi Fi version of the 301, um, which is quite nice because you don't have to plug in your gigabit Ethernet cable, but if you want to watch HD movies, that's maybe a little bit smarter. So, this is a media player for your home, and it does more than just play videos um, or pictures or music or anything you want. Um, it actually has an infrared extender inside, so if you use a projector you can get the signal out behind the curtain and otherwise we have a 2.5 inch HDD or um, SSD rack, of course an SSD would be maybe a little bit too expensive for it, but it's quite nice that you can just slide in there a hard drive and you have an external hard drive with USB 3.0 connection. So we have, so we have all in one for only 100 bucks, which is actually quite nice. On the back you again have all the features and what kind of um, formats you can play. For example, um, there is also UPnP, SMB and uh, NFS um, capability. We have the AKV and uh, no MKV AVI ISO and you can even start your torrents downloading on this device while you're asleep at home. So let's take a closer look at what we get inside of the box because there's actually a lot that you will get when you buy this a device so we have a um, remote control which has backlit no, not backlit but the um, buttons actually glow in the dark so that's quite nice when you are in the dark and you had this device out um, in the sun so you can use this even in the dark without knowing where the buttons are by heart and um, then we have composite cable here for your older TV maybe then um, of course a power adapter PSU with a European connector and actually there is um, a UK connector in here, an American connector and even uh, one country that I don't know. So if you tell me what this is for, you get, I don't know, you will get maybe a coupon from me on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Otherwise we have a dongle on here which is actually for the Wi-Fi. So you have a Wi-Fi antenna. A USB 3.0 cable, so if you use this as an external hard drive, you will be able to plug it into your computer or to anything else. Maybe your new Acer A510, which supports actually external hard drives. And then we have a small little um, um, booklet here, which helps you with the ports, which I will tell you about more in a second too. Then we have even more, so we have the IR extender, as I said, you just plug it in, let the cable um, out be below your projector. Um, wall and then you can still use the infrared signal otherwise we have even a network cable in here so if you don't want to use the Wi-Fi that's quite handy um, HDMI cable of course also quite important 1.5 meters I think with uh, golden ends and then we have uh, AAA batteries for your remote control also nice and of course the device itself which is not in the foil anymore because I took it out and let's see what this fella does and first let's compare it into size with the similarly priced um, Western Digital Live TV device which has Wi-Fi built in too so as you can see from the top there's not much uh, from the front there's not much difference except for we have the infrared right here and the USB on the Western Digital is on the front and and the, this one it's on the side but we have also a um, multi-card reader in here so that's quite nice and on the back you can see the Dune gives us a lot more options in connectivity so we have the USB 3.0 slave to use it as an external hard drive another USB as here on the Western Digital we have optical audio out this is for the um, Wi-Fi antenna on the bottom we have the um, composite um, video out HDMI as on here the infrared extender is here on the top and we even have YPB PR uh, connectors for even better um, picture quality then of course the gigabit LAN port as on here and the power switch uh, which you can turn actually on and off on the device itself and now we have here the special feature you can open this up just sliding it to the side it will open up and take your hard drive for example uh, SSD here and you just have to slide it in and by pressing it in it will connect automatically and you can actually see it from the top here in the vents that we have the hard drive right in there. I think this is fanless but I maybe we will take it apart and take a close look inside but I think it really should be fanless so if you pop it open again you see that the drive comes out right away so it's quite easy to change and 
looking inside it really doesn't have a vent but it's built from plastic and metal inside so thank you much for watching Endeavor TV this was the Dune HDI unboxing and quick look around um, here with this TV 301 um, W device my name is Balaj Gal and till next time with Endeavor TV tune in again and turn on